Timeout 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.4, number 85. And this is where we were given three different functions, capital F of X, lowercase f of X, and G of X. And we were asked, hey, is it true that G of F of X, is that in fact, I'll put a question mark over it, is that equal to capital F of X? So I went through and I, I tried to figure this out. So I worked the right side of this equation. That's what you see happening right here. So I said, well, is G of f of x, what is that equal to? Well, I always start with the innermost parentheses, so I'm going to write f of x here, and I'm going to substitute that out with x to the fifth. So this is going to become g of x to the fifth. Right? And so now my innermost function is x to the fifth, and I want to apply that to the g function, which says take whatever's in there and add 1 to it. So this becomes x to the fifth plus 1. All right? Now, is that equal to this capital F function, which is x plus 1 to the fifth. That's, that's the big question. Are these two things equal? And off to the side here, I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to run out of space. But I want us to think about what x plus 1 to the fifth is equal to. And I'm going to have to scrunch this in. It's x plus 1 times x plus 1. Yikes, x plus 1. Let me get these out of the way. Maybe not. Oh, nope, that didn't really help. OK, I'm going to shrink this. Still not enough. x plus 1 and then another x plus 1. Now, I want you to imagine trying to FOIL these. So let me actually large in, or large in, that's not a word, <laughs> expand that. So let me just do the first two, right? This would be x squared plus 2x plus 1. I could do the next two, x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then I still have an x plus 1 left over. And I want you to imagine if you FOILed these or really distributed all of these together, would you be left with just x to the fifth plus 1? And the answer is no. This is going to be a much, much uglier um, polynomial. It'll actually be, if I remember, it'll be x to the fifth plus 5x to the fourth plus 10x cubed plus 10x squared plus 5x plus 1. It's a mess, and you can imagine how much you have to multiply out there and then collect like terms and you get here. So g of f of x is not equal to capital F of x, right? So let me just reiterate, g of f of x... This was equal to x to the fifth plus 1. Capital F of x, if I foiled everything out, is x to the fifth plus 5x to the fourth plus 10x cubed plus 10x squared plus 5x plus 1. And these two functions here, they are not the same, right? So that's why you see me saying they are not equal, and that's, that's false. All right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.